Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Elite Entertainment. I am your host, Gage Matthews. Welcome to another episode of the greatest entertainment show on YouTube. Um, lots to talk about. It's a very interesting week of football. Um, this week... The Green Bay Packers fantasy team went five and one. We won, and the Light Team Lightning went four and two. So we're doing good in fantasy. Um, let's review uh, picks this this week. I went seven and seven. Um, just a lot happened. The Bears are looking pretty good. The Eagles beat the Panthers at 5-1. Packers, uh, we lost 23-10. We, uh, Aaron Rodgers could be done for the season. He broke his collarbone. Should I be panicked? No. I believe in the system, and I believe in Brett Hundley. I think uh, Aaron Rodgers will be back about week 13, week 14. I mean, when I broke my collarbone, I only missed five, five or six weeks. And I think Brett Hundley can hold the fort. The Lions were beat beat up by the Saints. Uh, Redskins barely beat the 49ers. And the Steelers upset it the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Giants upset it the Denver Broncos. Wow. It's amazing when you when, when you get rid of the problem with this Ben McAdoo calling plays. It's amazing on what could happen. Um my picks for week seven. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost halfway through the season. RS Ballers. Thursday night, Chiefs versus Raiders. Chiefs win that game. Sunday at one o'clock, we have the Bills versus the Buccaneers. The Bills will win that game. Steelers versus Bengals. The Steelers will win that game. Vikings versus Ravens, the Vikings will win that game. Jets versus Dolphins, the Jets will win that game. Rams versus Cardinals. That's going to be a very good game, but I think the Rams will pull it out in the end. Panthers versus Bears, Luke Keekley is back. I believe the defense wins ball games, and the Bears will, or the Panthers will win that game. Titans versus Browns. Titans will dismantle the Browns. Packers versus Saints. We're home. I think we can win this game. Um, I think our run game is going to be sufficient. Uh, the only thing I'm very disappointed in is how injury prone our offensive line is. That's bad. But. I will never go against my team. I'm, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan for life. So I'm going with Green Bay Packers. Jaguars versus Colts. Uh, Jaguars win. Cowboys versus 49ers. Cowboys will win. Seahawks versus Giants. I don't know. Giants defense. Looks pretty good. Mm. I think, honestly, I'm going to take the Giants. This is my upset of the week. Giants will beat the Seattle Seahawks. I definitely believe so. The Broncos versus the Chargers. The Broncos are going to rebound and beat the Chargers. I don't think the Chargers are any good this year. The Falcons versus the Patriots. I'm going with Tom Brady and the Patriots again to beat the Atlanta Falcons. I think the Falcons are slowly coming back to life. They weren't as good. Like I said, they beat a banged up Packers defense. They're not that good. Trust me. And since the Falcons are in New England, the Falcons are never good away. 
They're good on turf, not on grass. Uh, excuse me. Redskins versus Philadelphia. This is game two of the two se two game series that they that they do. The Eagles won the first one. Now the Eagles this is the second one. I believe in Kirk Cousins and the Washington Redskins. And I'm gonna tell you why. Eagles don't have Wayne Johnson. Okay, they don't. Eagles don't. Eagles are not gonna be able to run the football. Why? You have Ryan Kerrigan and you have the tough. Washington defense. The Eagles defense is very good. I picked them up in fantasy. I did. I, I think they're going to cause a lot of hectic for the run game for Washington, but Kirk Cousins is a smart smart player. He, he reminds me a lot of Peyton Manning and Aaron Rodgers combined with his, the way he moves. And I believe they're going to win, and that's going to be one of my picks of the week. That's my pick of the week, actually. I have one upset and one pick of the week. And the Redskins repeat the Philadelphia Eagles 31-17. Now, um, I like what Mike McCarthy did. Uh, Brett Hundley and bringing up Joe Callahan. Those are two very good young quarterbacks, I believe. I believe that that's the way to do it, to keep this developed. Um, I believe we can hold down the fort. Um, I think the skill guys around Brett Hundley are, is going to make him a lot better. I think a full week of practice is going to make him a lot better. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to be mentoring and guiding him as he goes along. Um, I think Aaron Rodgers is only going to miss six or seven games, so I say about week 14 he'll return. I think out of those seven games, the next two weeks we have the Saints and then we have a bye week. So that gives a, a week's worth of rest for our guys. And then we come back week, you know, week nine, and you know the Bears, and it's gonna be. I mean, the divisional games are always tough, but I think we can do this. I think the bye week is definitely gonna help. I really do. Um, I believe in Mike McCarthy and the Green Bay Packers. I still think we can go to the playoffs, and I think if we make the playoffs, Aaron Rodgers is gonna return and. He's going to come with a vengeance. He's going to come back hungry and more hungrier than ever. Do I do now my, my two best teams, AFC and NFC, right now as we speak. And the NFC playing better than ever is the Philadelphia Eagles. I can't lie. They, they, they have an outstanding running game with a gear blunt. Wendell Smallwood's my favorite, one of my favorite running backs on that team. Zach Ertz is a phenomenal tight end. Carson Wentz is playing good ball. In the AFC, the best team right now in the AFC. In my opinion, playing good football, the Kansas City Chiefs at five and one. Yes, they lost to the Steelers, but they look look how they've been playing, running the football, throwing the football. They're balanced. But we're gonna see how the rest of the season goes, and then after week eight. I will make my playoff predictions, and we'll see how it goes for the rest of the season. So stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, and give us your thoughts and opinions about my picks and how I'm doing. By the way, I am 47-30 and 30 overall in my picks right now. Have a good day, and please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.